Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you pole effect for conductor and semiconductor material. So before we start with explanation, let me tell you how many things that I am going to cover in this video. See first, I will explain you complete whole effect by which you will be able to understand how whole voltage is getting generated due to whole effect. Second part is there based on derivation of whole voltage calculation. Third part that is there based on how many parameters are there for whole effect by which you can solve problems in competitive examination. And fourth part that is there based on applications of whole effect. So let us see first how whole effect generates whole voltage in conductor or in semiconductor material. So here I am keeping one material over here. This material could be conductor or semiconductor as this whole effect is applicable to conductor and semiconductor material. Now see as per whole effect as if you pass current through this material and as if you apply magnetic field to this material then there will be generation of whole voltage. So let us see the statement first. See when current I carrying conductor is placed in magnetic field. So here we are having one conductor that could be semiconductor as well. So through this material if you pass current. So to pass current what we are doing is we are connecting one battery over here. So battery is positive terminal that we are connecting over here and battery is negative terminal that we are connecting over here. So with this battery we are passing current through this material. So as per positive terminal over here current will flow in this direction right. So through this material current direction will be this right current direction will be this and you see we are placing this material inside magnetic field. So this magnetic field that we are generating by this magnet which is having north pole over here and south pole over here. So magnetic field direction that will be happening from north pole to south pole. So magnetic field that will happen in this direction right. And because of this there will be electric field generation and that electric field will be perpendicular to this current and magnetic field. So here inside this material there will be generation of electric field that will be perpendicular to this current as well as this magnetic field and that direction will be as per Fleming's left hand rule. So here you will be using left hand and with the use of left hand you will have to identify the direction of electric field. So here if you apply left hand rule then inside this material electric field that will be happening in this direction. Right inside this material as per Fleming's left hand rule electric field will happen in this direction. And because of this electric field there will be generation of whole voltage. Now see what will happen here. See as current is flowing in, the, in this direction as current is flowing in this direction you will be saying like okay electrons will flow in this direction. Electrons will flow in this direction. It will be opposite to the direction of conventional current. Now you see electrons are moving in this direction without this magnetic field right. But what will happen is as if you place this material inside magnetic field there will be induced electric field that will happen in this direction as per Fleming's left hand rule. So what will happen is as electric field is happening in this direction this electrons this electrons that will be attracted towards this surface right. These electrons will be attracted towards this surface. So it will be generating it will be generating negative polarity over this side and as all those electrons those are attracted towards this surface here there will be less electrons that will be making this surface with positive polarity right with positive polarity. So here there will be positive polarity over this side and here over this side there will be negative polarity as these electrons will be attracted towards this side due to this electric field. Now if you use multimeter so let us connect one multimeter over here. So what I am going to do is I am going to connect one multimeter. So here with this terminal I am connecting voltmeter and another terminal that I am going to connect over here. 
right so as if i connect voltmeter like this then there will be potential difference because of electrons are having attraction towards this side so here there will be positive polarity and here whatever voltage that will be measuring that will be whole voltage so whole effect explains what as if you place semiconductor or conductor inside magnetic field then there will be generation of induced electric field and its direction will be perpendicular to i and b and that direction will be as per fleming's left hand rule here if you observe current is there in this direction magnetic field is there in this direction so electric field will happen in this direction and because of this electric field these electrons will be attracted towards this side so which will make this surface negative and over this side there will be less electrons so this surface will be positive so if you connect voltmeter over here then there will be potential that you can measure that will be whole voltage that is how this phenomenon is happening now i'm going to explain you what will be the value of this whole voltage so i'll be deriving this whole voltage now so to derive this whole voltage first of all you need to understand how much magnetic force is happening so here see with this charge carriers with this charge carriers there is a magnetic force right so let me write that magnetic force magnetic force over here that will be how much that magnetic force let us say fb so that is charge into v cross b right now here v is velocity and obviously we are talking about material so this velocity will be drift velocity and if you observe see velocity is there in this direction magnetic field is perpendicular to this so v cross b that will be v b only v b sin theta where theta is 90 degree so v cross b will be v b only right so here this magnetic force f b that will be q v d into b where v d is velocity that is drift velocity as we are talking about velocity of charge carrier inside material now here as i have told you as per whole effect there is induced electric field right so here now there is electric force because of induced electric fields so here electric force here electric force that will be how much so electric force f e that will be charge into electric field right electric force will be charge into electric field right now i have given example of elect electrons but as if you talk about holes then holes will be attracted towards this side electrons will be attracted towards this side that is how things will happen so here i am writing q instead of e right so electric force will be q into e now what is the value of electric field so this induced electric field that will be happening as per whole effect now if you observe in between this two surface distance is d so here you can say you can say this electric field that is voltage voltage divided by distance and this voltage is how much this voltage is whole voltage so here i'm writing vh by d so based on this you can say this electric force now that will be fe that is charge into whole voltage divided by distance right so now we are having magnetic force and electric force see because of magnetic field here induced electric field is happening so this magnetic force is balancing electric force here what is happening this magnetic force that is balancing electric force so let us say this is equation 1 this is equation 2 due to balance electric force and magnetic force what you can say this equation 1 and equation 2 both are equal so you can say q into vd into magnetic field is equals to q into whole voltage divided by distance b so here let us say this q is getting cancelled so here this whole voltage that is drift velocity into magnetic field into distance d now in my earlier videos of this lecture series of electronic device i have explained you what is drift velocity so see this drift velocity that we can represent in terms of current density right 
so here let us talk about current density now so you should know current density current density that is j so that current density is how much charge into concentration of electron let us consider this material is n type semiconductor material so here current density that is charge into n into drift velocity right now if you place this drift velocity in this equation in form of j then what you will be getting vh that will be magnetic field into distance and now you see this vd will be j by qn so j divided by q into n that we can say right now see here what is j j is current density now what is current density current density is current divided by area current density j that is current divided by area so here this j is current divided by area so let me explain that this j is current i divided by area now what is that area you see here current is flowing in this direction right so current density current density j that will be this current i divided by this area now this area is how much this distance d into w that is width right so here you can say this j is i by a where a is distance d which is spacing in between two terminal where we are measuring whole voltage into width now if you place this inside this then you will be further modifying whole voltage equation so whole voltage will be b into d into i divided by d w into q n now if you observe here this d is getting cancelled so now you are having whole voltage vh that is magnetic field into current divided by w q n right so this is how basic equation that is there with us which is whole voltage now here one thing that you will have to remember now see there is one more coefficient that is whole coefficient and its value is 1 by q n so let me mention that see whole coefficient r h that is whole coefficient and this whole coefficient that value is how much 1 by q n for n type material and it is having value 1 by q p for p type semiconductor material so if you substitute this in this then you will be having whole voltage that is b i r h divided by w so this is the basic equation which is whole voltage equation that you will have to remember for solution of examples so that is how we can derive whole voltage now here there are a few essential parameters that i am going to list by which you can solve questions in competitive examination as well so here let me let me consider p type and n type semiconductor material first so first what i am going to do is i am going to write essential parameters for n type semiconductor material right for n type semiconductor material and here i'll be writing essential parameters for p type semiconductor material so as i have told you this whole coefficient rh that is 1 by n into q right or you can say 1 by q into n where n is concentration of electrons with n type semiconductor material right here one more thing that you need to understand which is explaining you relation of mobility and conductivity so here we are having mobility of n type that is conductivity of n type into rh this relation is very essential for solution of questions and similarly we are having p type so with p type this rh that will be 1 by q into p and here mobility that is conductivity into rh so these are the equations that you will have to remember 
for solution of questions right for n type this whole coefficient that is 1 by qn this mobility that is sigma n into rh where sigma n is conductivity of n type here for p type whole coefficient is 1 by qp and mobility that is sigma p into rh where sigma p is conductivity of p type now here there are few essential applications which is there with whole effect so see first application that is based on measurement of carrier concentration now how to have a measurement of carrier concentration you see we are having whole voltage so by multimeter you can measure whole voltage once you measure whole voltage based on that you can find rh now if you can calculate rh then see rh is having relation as per 1 by qn for n type and rh is 1 by qp for p type so from that you can have a calculation of n and p that is carrier concentration now second application that is measurement of mobility of material if you want to calculate mobility then i have written this equation directly so you see once you calculate rh and if you have conductivity then you can find mobility so conductivity into whole coefficient that is mobility for n type as well as for p type right and if you want to calculate magnetic field so as a magnetic field meter also you can have this application where if you have voltage if you have whole coefficient then based on this equation you can find magnetic field so for magnetic field meter also we are using this whole effect so in total there are so many other applications even in sensors also we are using whole effect but here i have just listed applications based on parameters right so here measurement of carrier concentration mobility and magnetic field meter that is what the basic application which is there with whole effect i hope you have understood this video still if anything that you would like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video